Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Talia Mid tutorial featuring Dark Harvest and Nimbus Cloak. So, we're going to see how these runes work and we're against the Zack Chogat combo, so basically I'm going to be permanently stunned if they catch me. But once I use Ignite I should be able to escape because of the Nimbus Cloak. Now they have lots and lots and lots and lots of heals, so Morel Nomicons this game, especially this game, is mandatory because Either both Hatrox and Yumi heal a lot, Zack heals a lot, Yasuo heals a lot, even Chogat has a passive that heals a lot. And so we're going to go over runes, but currently I want to say that I'm playing with with the beautiful uh, Ignite that we're going to need against so many heals. And let's just poke this guy down. See here I would have proc Electrocute by the way. I'm just gonna do some auto attacks on him. Gonna back off, okay. Gonna get that too. And we're going to go over runes in a second. We're going to ward in a second on spots where Zack may be. If you really play like this, as I do, you should probably ward Zack's right because you don't want him to gank you, or Zack's red because you can know his position after this, after the red buff. Okay, I messed that up. And let's just get this and talk about runes for a second. I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Revenant Hunter, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, and because I thought I am against Yasuo on mid, don't know why I didn't think he's bot, I picked uh, armor, but it's fine. Apparently we win top, so. Also, I am lagging a bit, and farming might not be that fun. What is this? 500? I'd be damned, I cannot dodge Zack's engages or such if... Uh, <laughs> If yeah, if they gang me, I've seen Zach. So you, you've seen Zach here. I, so I started, I started to ping, so that he comes and helps me, right? Because now we want to bait towards the top side, because Zach will alt here. Will Zach will eat here, right? See? And now we just null it down. Now we just auto attack him to that, and that went right. That went right because we baited that. This is very predictable, by the way. We don't see Zack, we don't know where Zack is. Okay, we, we know now. We know that he has no flash, so we can just do this and get the kill. I still have flash, I have 3 Dark Harvest stacks, by the way, now. And while I'm farming like crap, that's quite irrelevant. I should go here, but I don't have mana to help them, and they will probably still win anyway this. So I'll just back off and get my boots and prepare my GLP and vision words and potions for the next fights because Chogat is a pokey champion and sometimes you cannot dodge. I get the boots, now I can dodge even more easily his Qs which are quite telegraphed as I might say. I'm seeing Timo here, I'm checking up on him, he's good, he's fine, he's alive. <laughs> And we're going to want to get Morelos this game after GLP, we'd want that, I'm pinging that he's missing, he's not missing anymore. You have to ping the moment you think he's going roaming or something, cause, cause, uh, well, any roam, you're a Talia, right? Your team will flame you, your team will actually flame you. Okay, so I get another gang here, he's dead, they are actually helping me too much. Which is weird, because it never happens. Generally I'm left alone, right? So now I'm going to do a full combo here. I'm gonna use the pot in case Zack comes. I'm gonna do a full combo on this. I'm gonna push. I'm going to put the vision word down. You should put the vision word before... Oh my god. You should put the vision word down before you do anything. But I do have my W up and flash, so if Zack jumps on me, I can actually W, I can flash out, I can do stuff like that. But he didn't come. His top, we see him on top. We could go on top, but we'd rather keep our alt up for other roaming endeavors, such as going bot, which is more useful in our case. And so we keep a distance now because of the Zack, but we know he he will stop, right? We know he can be around here. He this guy plays aggressive, it means Zack might be close. We can heal up now from our passive, from our Ravenous Hunter a bit. It's it's very it's very low healing, but it's something. And I'm gonna do a Q here. I'm gonna ping that. He's missing, by the way. Again. 
every time you see that he's missing you ping a bit so that you notify your team of that i'm checking up on my gold for the glp i'm doing lots of stuff concurrently guys no no that's a bad that's a bad idea i'm also pinging when it's a good idea or not to gank right now top laner is losing See, we're seeing Zach because of this good vision. We're seeing Zach here, and we can actually, we can actually bait for a. We can actually put a word here, somewhere. To check more on this Zach, right? He's seen that word. He knows, my bot knows. They spotted him there. Also, I need to check now if I'm getting, uh, ganked here. And I'm going there to get the blue. And I'm gonna ping these guys to play defensively because I'm far away from them and I cannot help them. I got the blue. I'm moving back to mid, right? We have GLP now. Almost. Okay, we have it now because it's uh, 1500. But because I got blue now, I can just keep pushing a bit. And I'm keeping my Q here to actually get the cannon so we don't miss it. And I'm moving towards bot now. Even though I don't have GLP yet, I'm always keeping an eye on oh, Never mind. I'm recalling now because we can get GLP because he'll push here but we have time we should have do, done maybe one more combo but we want one more uh, region war tier and one GLP and we'd want to look around the map a bit we'd want to ping that he's missing even though I'm losing in CS that's fine as long as I'm killing him as long as I'm getting plates as long as I'm pinging my team whenever we spot Zach we spotted on my word by the way that I just put there and they don't back off they should have backed off instantly, by the way. The moment I ping, by the way. Even though you give them vision sometimes. This might not be that optimal. Nah, never mind, back off. Back off. I can't do more than this by the way they practically inted there and we should not have fought just Trundle getting caught I didn't even use flash I didn't even use anything by the way because I am aware of this stuff right you gotta be aware of this stuff and I think we can get the kill on Atrox because he's very low HP and because we have our GLP up. And he wants to get that. And let's see how what we do here. Okay, we got the shutdown on Zack. And we're moving back to mid lane. This one is going to pop, I don't care. We might be uh, expected. We, they, so Chogat might wait us. So we have to go a longer way. We have to go like this, right? So we're going like this because we don't want to randomly die. If he's good, he would have waited here. And I'm not sure why they are mid there. I mean, I mean, they are inting a bit. I'll give you that. Now, if that okay, I might be dead here because I am permanently CC'd. I thought Shogat was on this side, that's why I died, I thought I did not consider him being here, I was somehow sure that he went there, even though it's completely my fault on that. Now do not, do not ult here, you're going to waste, you're going to waste the ult, because if you saw wind well that, well you still wasted the ult, just now, as we can see, but we can actually roam here can actually get another kill on the Atrox because he will not back off because he wants to get those plates and we can actually move it we can move it there we have vision here we have a clear word here and we can do this we can get another kill another free simple kill on that Atrox even though I lost some HP we can get it back full with the plant we can get the cooldown back from ignite but we can never actually we can never actually uh, get that kill again because you'll probably be aware now so so you gotta be aware of that 
and I don't like Trundle where he is. I do have Flash, so I'm gonna be safe, but I do need in this game to get Lyandris after, after Ludens, because you can actually notice how tanky they are, right? I'm not dealing any damage to him, by the way. He has magic resist boots. I'm seeing Zack here on the word that I just put. That's some good thinking. Pretty random at times, but it's a good thinking. And this guy should back off. Three, it's fine. He teleported for absolutely no reason. And Timo inted now. That was nice. That was a good E. I flashed quite badly. I got the extra movement speed. But we did fine. We did generally fine there. And now we can just go back. We're going to lose first tower here because they are probably going to die for for them to okay. Can we get in? Okay. I'm not reaching that. I had so much time to actually walk away. I don't know why Misfortune went there. We're about to die if he wants to. And I'm gonna ping this item for them. I'm gonna ping this item. Cause Yumi, cause Zack, cause Atrox. And we're going to lose bot tower. I could go bot in theory, but I don't see the point as I cannot save this tower. So that's not what you should do. What you should do now this game is to kill the asshole instantly before anything else. And to get Lyandris and Morelos because you're against a dozen tanks. You can see you're against an Atrox, you're against a Zac, you're against a Cho'Gath. Every one of those champions are very very tanky or have lots of fields even the Yasuo is very tanky has lots of fields because of their nature right Yasuo has a shield Yasuo has a wind wall Yasuo has lots of fields but if you one shot them <laughs> and they're not going to be really able to do much especially if you are fed especially if you have this CC set up by Trundle by uh, by the other dude by the Nautilus and now Tilo, sorry. And we have a vision word here. We have a free Drake. I'm going by this way because I don't want to be caught again randomly. I'm just going to throw Qs here. And I need to keep an eye on this of uh, the cooldown. And also we can actually catch him here. Can I actually catch him? Because it was very simple to hit a huge Shogat. Uh, but I'm gonna... I need to get rid of... Uh, I want to get rid of, of the of this, but first let me get Morello. Let's recall first for the Morello and then get rid of it. I have a vision word, I need to use it, but I'm going to I'm not going to sell it, I'm keeping the gold. But we need to use the Herald, right? We need to use the Herald to get at least two tower shots. This one and this one. Or kill this tower and then go for the base. Also we can go for we can aim for uh Drake for Cloud Soul. That would be another useful thing. I'm gonna ping here a vision word. I'm gonna put it down. I want to use the Herald on mid, but I'm not using it yet because they go they're going to notice, right? You want to use it besides the fact that you want to use it when there are low plates, so just one or two plates. This is not the case because there are no more plates there. Okay, I'm seeing them here, right? Their entirety of the team is there. I can just go here, I can just do this. I can put the Herald, I can even probably take the tower before the Herald hits, so we don't lose anything on the Herald. And maybe, yep, we got two, two shots of that. And we can back off now, because we got two shots on the Herald, goal was accomplished, and I'm still having some bits of lag. But we need, we need red trinkets. We can't go without the red trinket. Right. Yeah, 
And I can do that. I can just one shot the Riasso whenever Nautilus holds. So, ah, uh, that was close. So that's how you win the game, guys. That's what you do. You find the fed target, you wait for a CC or you trigger the CC yourself with GLP and then you one-shot that target. That's It's that simple. That's all your job. To, it's everything that you gotta do. The only thing that's hard is the lane phase against assassins. And the only thing that might be hard is when you stop farming and you start basically being useless because you didn't farm enough and now because you didn't farm enough you don't have enough gold to do anything. Because you didn't farm enough, you don't have Morello, you don't have GLP completed. But GLP being cheaper, that's fine. Now see, my team is even winning now, but I have to ping them. Because they're going to die there. I don't have mana. I cannot follow to help them. I can just ult. I can just ult. I'm just, I'm going there because they are apparently winning. So, oh, never mind. That's why still alive. Yeah, I need to get out of here. I need to get out. And if they'd be smart now, if they'd be smart, they'd move towards instantly towards the uh, towards the Baron but they apparently want to chase us for half an hour so that's a bad thing as well I'm seeing I'm seeing and I'm going to ping to go around this way around this area with want with want vision word here I'm seeing Chogat by the way I'm actually having enough damage to murder him so you can one shot the full HP Chogat by the way, as Lia if you are fed enough. And now that we created this pick, we can just move towards this. Come on, go Baron. Come on, free Baron guys. Also, what you can do here just put a vision word in this bush to create a better a better vision gap. Okay, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. I can actually one shot someone else here. Just go Baron, guys. Start it. Go Baron. This fortune should back off there. Because now Jagat is coming, right? But I can do this creating a alt gap and now they cannot reach Baron they are rushing towards it but they cannot actually reach it because I created that wall gap there and they want now to engage which might be a bad idea but now we can just go around mid and we can actually do a pick but we should stay behind our front line actually because if we get instantly nullified by the also never do that never recall at vision as this guy did it's a pretty bad thing also let's move towards a more defensive items so i'm going to get a stopwatch i'm going to get a codex but to that did they get caught let's see Okay, it was fine until this. Okay, we got the so we won this actually. can see I got out positioned because of the Atrox but my team actually my team actually scaled over that yeah so we should have lost this because of misfortunes misposition actually but we are winning because of the team right now and because I came back to the fight and did my part there and I need to get these and we can move towards Baron I activate it. Oh, okay. I'm about to get killed here if I'm not careful. I need all I need to do is not get caught in the random Zack jump that's about to come. And that jump is not gonna come on me, right? 
and I'm not sure why she's on the other side of the fight. And I can one-shot these guys. Okay, Yasuo jumped exactly at the right moment. Okay. So I'm catching Yasuo here. I'm seeing Yasuo here. They could turn, but they don't have anything, so I can... What? They are getting killed by that? Okay, he tried to clear it, but we can just push here. What we'd want is to keep the fight on this side. What we'd want is to push this side. And misfortune into the game, obviously. And so we're just gonna get the second inhibitor for this. Because they cannot really fight us right here. And I expect a Zack jump, okay. And I expect that kind of damage I got them really I kinda need some help here even though I had Zonia I couldn't kill that guy even though I'm fed this fed I mean I still I have Rabadons instantly almost so it's fine but we need to ping the next targets and They, they have no words and Zack is stopped. Misfortune is farming for some reason blue buffs. Zack came now, so we have to actually get rid of him first. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather risk it. I'd rather risk it because I hope... Yep. The smite was in our favor, by the way, because we have four champions here. And because of this, we actually just won the game. We can just go there and that's it. In the other case, if uh, Zack did take Baron... We would have still killed him, so it would still be a 5 versus 4 on that inhibitor, right? So it's kinda still good for us, because we would have got their 2 inhibitors, and now we do the same thing, but with the Baron buff, so we can end the game. My job is still to kill that guy, so even though I inted that fight, I still did not lose the game. Okay. We might lose the game now if we're not careful. Ah, never mind. Never mind, that went so good in our favor. I'm not going over that wall. Because we just want Cloud Soul, right? Okay, so we have movement speed now. I'm not even getting. Okay, I'm getting this. Good. We should move towards top now, as you can see. And we should go for the third inhibitor, but we're again going to have a 5 versus 5. They even tried to engage on us now, but because we have the front line, we did win. Okay, so I can stay here, because I hope they cleared it, or I can stay behind a bit. But if I see them come, I'll just go in and try to full combo. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go, 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 go. Go. Got the Zack there, okay. Now Yasuo is not going to follow on that one. And I'm actually one versus two them. Go! And guys, look at this wall! <laughs> look at this wall, guys! And he's overhealing, but we're still winning. Oh my god, that wall though. We did just win because of that wall. <laughs> and the flame on the Zack is real. So this was the game, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I did fail a bit, but we still turned around. You've seen how Dark Harvest works with Nimbus. And I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And see you next time. Goodbye.